I will show how to design a pair of primer that can be used to uh, amplify the mutation region on PMSH2 plasmid. Uh, so first I'll open the PMSH2 plasmid, make sure this is circular. And I'm going to use AG422 as an example. So first use uh, align to align two sequences. So let's put a wild type on top and mutant at bottom. And we can find another mutation roughly here. This is 5201, 10, 20, 30, it's about 38. So 5238. So I want to design a primer uh, that can amplify this region. So I want to I want my PCR uh, fragment is about 800 base pair. This way, uh, when I use my restriction enzyme that can distinguish the wild type and mutant cut around this region, I can have a, a, a two uh, fragment. So the original fragment may be 800, and then I cut it. It's going to uh, two. Uh, we can have two fragments around 400 base pair. And usually when, when we get a primer, it's going to, uh, when it's a bit of, uh, going to not, uh, a fragment not exactly the same, so we will see probably see two bands. So, and I will go to the PMS2 and just select the region I want to amplify, uh, roughly. And the final, region will decide by the primer. So my region is 5238, so I'm going to pick 400 base pair downstream. That's about 4800. And then it's about 400 base pair upstream, so that's about uh, 4600. So that's giving me about 800 base pair. So click and then copy. Now then I go to a website called uh, NCBI Primer Blast. So you can just Google NCBI Primer Blast and you should, usually that's the first hit. So once you click that, you can copy paste the sequence into it. So then you have a choice to select the regions for the forward primer and the reverse primer. So the forward primer is going to be on first, I'm going to pick um, 150 and the reverse primer I'm going to pick from 650 to 800. Okay. So, and then we can uh, using everything by default. Uh, I already run the result, and so here's the result will come out. Uh, let's just pick. So, remember, I uh, my uh, mutation is around 400. So I pick 400 downstream and 400 upstream. So my mutation is right here. So any of those five pairs is going to work because they're going to amplify the region uh, containing the mutation here. So if we have the if we use this the first set of primer on the wild type and the mutant plasmid, we are going to amplify the region. This this long piece. This is about uh, about six hundred base pair. Uh, product 606 here and the forward primary is here and reverse primary is there so I'm going to label those primers using a APE so I highlight copy and then go back to APE now remember this is the uh, circular plasma so I'm going to uh, go find Okay, do you see? Okay, it's found about 4876, 7, 4880 something. And then I oh, oh, close, go to a feature, new feature. So this will be my forward primer. Okay, and then I go back to the SBR website, look for the reverse primer. That's the reverse primer. Copy, go back to APE, 
try again, find. Aha, uh -huh. so it's around this region. Close this and then go to feature, new feature. So this is my reverse primer. Make sure you click reverse complement because that's going to label the uh, data string. So now um, I'm going to do a graphic map to see whether these two primers are going to work or not. Indeed, this is going to uh, PCI out this uh, region. Uh, so here's my forward primer, it's my backward primer. Uh, fit around about 5500, this is about 48 or 4900. So they're going to pick out about 600 base pair. And my mutation is around uh, 5238, so it's about here. And if I cut it, uh, 5238 can give about uh, 200 or 300 base pair, one short fragment, and then another one about uh, 400 or 500 base pair, a longer fragment. Okay, so hopefully this help. So you should submit a picture of this and your primer, ch a choice of primers.